What we have here is our primary test facility, robots driving around. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, robots roam here, being tested to deliver, discover, to do what they're programmed to do. But what you won't find here is a so-called killer robot, a fully autonomous weapon designed to hunt and kill without a human involved. As far as we know, they don't exist yet. But Canadian company Clearpath insists killer robots have no place on the battlefield. We feel that, that there is a, a line which is being crossed with this technology. We feel that on top of being riskier than anyone actually appreciates right now, there is a disconnect from, there's an ethical and moral disconnect from, from war. We think that these weapon systems are going to be used in all sorts of dangerous ways, both by major powers and non-state actors alike. The risks of, say, a machine killing the wrong person, of being hacked, of engaging with another machine and escalating a conflict are some of the reasons the company says it took a stand in 2014. It has committed to not, knowingly at least, create fully autonomous weapons. Thousands of scientists, engineers, tech companies and artificial intelligence experts have done the same. But they're not shunning military contracts completely. They say AI can be a valuable tool. The Pentagon just last month called on big tech companies to help develop its AI capabilities. Russia and China are already investing in military AI technology. I think it really first comes down to the responsibility of, of every engineer and developer to ensure that, that the governments around the world are aware of the risks in the use of this technology and that these decisions are being made in a, in a rational, considered way. And then from there, perhaps they can start having conversations about if their company in particular, themselves in particular, should work on these, this technology. Tech workers are demanding transparency as their bosses eye new and potentially lucrative defence contracts. Some of them have chosen to leave and work for companies like Clearpath. It all boils down to wanting to know what they're creating and whether it's technology that could kill or save lives. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.